is food science connected to food technology and if they are connected then what is food processing and if food processing and food technology are different then what is food engineering a lot of students complete their whole graduation their post graduation and they are never able to understand the difference between these common terms like food science food technology food processing and food engineering so in this video i am going to simplify the key concepts related to food technology How are you doing today? This is Ari Bershad and you are watching Food Tech Simplified where I make simple and easy to understand lectures, videos and tutorials for the students of food science and technology. So if you want to level up your profile and simplify your studies then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. Now let's try to understand each concept one by one. So first of all we are talking about food science. Now we are taking an example of this apple and uh, let's just say that I do I have performed a lot of experiments on this apple this apple is a food this is a fruit and a lot of experiments I have done a lot of experiments on this apple now I could have cut this apple uh, some of some basic experiments could be like I have cut this apple into small pieces into small slices and I have kept them into open air into this environment without providing without altering any conditions so what will happen after some duration after some time the white portion the uh, the inside of this apple are white and the white portion the white color will turn slowly into brown color so what is happening some kind of chemical uh, reaction is happening inside the food inside this fruit this apple that is why it is turning brown so let's just say let us just uh, assume that after 3 minutes and 20 seconds the color of the white surface turns into brown so this is a sort of a uh, very easy and simple experiment and the result of this experiment is that after 3 minutes and 20 seconds the color changed from white to brown. Now whenever we are performing some experiments or some tests on some food products there will be results and these results suggest these results make us understand the properties of a food. So for example uh, I just said that the browning of this food this this tells us that okay after this much duration after 3 minutes and 20 seconds the color is turned the color is turning into brown color so that suggests that gives us a property of food and that gives us an in-depth knowledge or in-depth understanding of this fruit in the similar fashion there are a lot of tests being done on this apple maybe this apple is being cooked at, cooked at a specific temperature maybe this apple is being stored at a refrigeration temperature or maybe the pulp of this apple is taken out and cooked and mixed with this mix uh, mixed with some ingredients so a lot of tests are being done on this fruit or this apple and the results of these uh, experiments or tests are noted down. So what does the food scientist do? So a food scientist basically studies all the results that are being provided uh, due to the experimentations or tests on this specific fruit. So whenever he or she, whenever a food scientist is studying all the, uh, you know, the details, all the results about the fruit, so that is the information that is generated from the experimentations. Now the study of these experimentations or the study of these results is called food science. So if I have to summarize all that into one line, it will be the food science will be defined as the application of science or the experimentation on some kind of fruits to study the nature of the food. Now that nature could be physical, could be chemical or could be biochemical. So basically the studying of the nature, the study of the nature of a specific food product by doing some kind of experimentation and test on this fruit is called food science. So by now you must have understood that the study of the nature of any food product is called food science. This is a very simple definition. Food science is just like information. Information which is similar to for example that hard work leads to success. All of us know that we have to put in the hard work, we have to put in the hard work or the smart work, whatever you, call, whatever you want to call it. Now all of us have the knowledge that what is required to succeed in life, alright. But rarely a very few people apply that, rarely a very few people implement that in their own lives. So what does that mean? So food science generates a lot of information for the food scientist and the food technologist. But until and unless the information generated by food science is implemented and applied, it is of no use. So what does a food technologist do? A food technologist or in food technology, we use the information generated by food science 
in the selection, preservation, processing, distribution or packaging or any kind of process of the food product. Let me just say one more time. The information, food technology is defined as the application of the information generated by food science in the processing, packaging, distribution, selection of a food product. Now, I just told you that food science with itself, food, sci food science on its own is of no use. A food science, the information generated by food science has to be used, has to be implemented. But also note that a food technologist or in food technology, we need, we desperately need the information generated by food science. If we do not have the information that is generated by food science or a food scientist, then a food technologist will not be able to process or to produce a food product. For example, I am, I am a food technologist and let's just say that I am turning this apple, I am processing this apple into a jam, into apple jam, okay? Now, whenever I am trying to convert this into apple jam, I need to understand what is the science of this apple? What is inside this apple? If I cut this at a specific angle, what will happen? If I keep this at room temperature, what will happen? If I cook this at a specific temperature, what will happen? If I mix some uh, specific ingredients with the pulp of this apple, what is going to happen? So all of that study is included in food science. And that information is used by a food technologist. Now, if I, if I have studied food science thoroughly, then I will know, okay, the density, I will know the density of this product. I will know how to cook this product. I will know how to take the pulp of this product. I will know how to preserve this specific fruit. I will know what conditions do, uh, does it need to extend the shelf life of this apple. So a food tech, now the food technology and the food science are both interconnected. Without each other, they cannot work. So in the food industry, food science and food technology, both of them are connected. Hey, and by the way, are you taking notes? Because this is not entertainment video. This is an educational video. So make sure you are taking notes because if you are just watching this just for the pastime or just for your entertainment or that kind of stuff, then nothing is going to happen. Even if I'm the greatest teacher on the earth, you are not going to learn. You are going to forget very easily. So active learning is very important. So make sure you are taking notes. Uh, make sure you have a pen and a paper or a notebook and a pen so that you are taking notes. Please take notes. So I just told you about food science and food technology. Now let us move on to another concept and that is food processing. So what is food processing? Let us just take the example of this apple once again. So in this apple, let us just say that I am converting this apple, I am processing this apple into apple jam. Okay, now the food processing can be defined as the conversion of a raw fruit or a raw food product or a raw food material into a finished product. So what does that mean? That means when I am converting an apple into apple jam, so the conversion the process of conversion is known as food processing. So why do we process food? What is the need? What is the requirement of processing the food? The primary purpose of processing the food is to extend the shelf life of a food product. What does that mean? So that means, uh, let's just say the shelf life of this apple is, just, let's say five to seven days, okay, if refrigerated. So when I convert this apple into apple jam, I am extending the shelf life of this apple uh, up to maybe six months or maybe one year. Okay, so extending the shelf life, extension of the shelf life is the primary purpose of food processing. There are other purposes of food processing as well. Maybe the apple is converted into apple jam so that it is more appealing for the consumers. So that it is satisfying a particular need of the consumers. Maybe some uh, consumers want apple jam rather than just consuming apple. Maybe they want to, you know, spread the jam on their breads. So they, there is a specific group of the consumers that exactly wants that, okay, we want the apple jam, not the apple. So food processing is basically the conversion of a specific food product into another product so that it is more appealing for the consumer. Maybe it could have more nutrition. Maybe it could have more nutrition. Maybe the taste is enhanced during the food processing or maybe it is more safe for consumption for the consumers. And especially the main purpose, please remember that, the main purpose is the extension of shelf life. So by now we have understood that the conversion of a raw material into a finished product is known as food processing. Now let's just, let's just say that I want to convert uh, this apple into an apple jam. Okay, now I, 
if I have to convert this into Apple Jam, I will need some kind of equipments. Maybe I will need some kind of machinery or maybe I will need some kind of equipments or instruments. So let's just say that I need a knife. So knife is a kind of equipment, right? So uh, I need the knife to peel this apple, to take off the peel of this apple. Or I may need knife or blades to cut this apple into slices. Or I may need a big, you know, a big kind of utensil to cook the pulp of this apple. Or I may need some kind of equipment to take out the seeds of this apple. I may need some kind of blender to mix the ingredients, mix the different ingredients of the apple jam with the pulp of this apple. Okay, so there are a lot of equipments involved in a food industry. There are a lot of machineries involved in a food industry. So that these, so basically these uh, machineries or equipments or instruments are used to make the process of food processing more easier, more faster or more efficient. Okay, so let's just stay with that. And uh, let's say that I want to convert this into Apple Jam. Now, I need to have the knowledge of the machineries, the equipments and whatever equipment is used in the processing of a food product. So the study of all the machineries or equipments or instruments that are used in the processing of a food product so that the conversion of a raw material into a finished product is more easier or faster or efficient. So that study of the equipments and the machineries is known as food engineering. So food engineering is what? Food engineering is the study of the machineries, the equipments or the instruments that are used in the processing of a food product. So just like food science and food technology are interconnected, in the same fashion food processing and food engineering are also interconnected with each other. Without one, without food engineering, food processing won't be possible and without food processing, food engineering won't be possible. So both of them are connected with each other and a lot of times you must have seen that there are a lot of colleges that are providing courses in food process and engineering. So because it's a reason that these terms have to be used with each other because without food engineering, food processing won't be possible because you need some kind of equipments, you need the information of some kind of equipments to convert a raw material into a food product. So that is why a lot of times food process and engineering, uh, the, the, these two terms are combined, these two terms are used with each other. And a lot of times food science and technology, both of these terms are used with each other. And by the way, if you want to know what happens inside a food factory or specifically in a bread factory, then make sure you read my free ebook that I released uh, in, on Tuesday, I think. And make sure you read that. I have provided the link down in the description so that you can download it. It's completely free of cost. So this was it for today. Let me know down in the comments if you have any kind of doubts. I will be happy to help you. And make sure you have subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. I'll see you next time. Class dismissed.